how do you clean up an oil spill? I'm asking for a friend. And since my friend really needs some help, I went to talk to some Hong Kong City U scientists to see what I could do about it, what, what he could do about it. For an accidental oil spill, what people normally would do is they would use a physical barrier. That means that you're using floating barriers and boats to scoop up the oil and dispose of it elsewhere. The issue is, if the water is too choppy or too close to the shore, you can't use those methods. We go on to the second option, chemicals. First are dispersants, which thin out the oil to reduce the concentration on the surface. That limits the amount of exposure that wildlife has to crude oil in the short term, but in the long term, the oil can end up on the sea floor. But defenders of his technique say, without using these kinds of chemicals, the oil can stay on the shore for decades. And subsequently, there's several ways to do it. One way is to uh, burn it. Burning? That sounds very wrong. But if the wind is going in the right direction and you were going to burn that oil anyways, well... No, no, there must be a better way. We still have sponges. Sponges and foams can be used to absorb oil to be picked up and disposed of safely outside of a splash zone. But how do you make a sponge? With oil? So the synthetic material, most of them are non-biodegradable. And eventually they sink down and then they will accumulate in the oceans. Okay, not only that, but sponges also have a nasty habit of picking up water along the way, which complicates recovery process. Thankfully, petrochemicals are not the only way to make a sponge. Scientists at the Hong Kong City U have developed what they call a smart sponge. So what's it made of? A lot of pan, they're actually non-digestible, so they're considered as a waste. We can actually make use of this type of non-digestible fibers to develop a, a smart sponge. So here we'll have a bottle of crude oil. We make some chemical modifications. So we introduce 0.1% of the chemicals, and then we make the material become hydrophobic. So it's only oil that can actually penetrate through. After this chemical modification, they are totally biodegradable. Recycled cellulose does certainly sound like a more environmentally friendly way to clean up an oil spill than petrochemical byproducts. As you might have guessed, they're not the first team to think of using biodegradable or waste materials to sponge up an oil spill. Methods like using straw or hair strands have been common for decades. What's so special about their sponge? The smart sponge, after we put it in, it will absorb the oil quickly without sinking it into the water layer. This modification also enhances the interaction between the oily substance and the material to lock up the oily substance inside the sponge. So it will capture the oil and then it has a very strong binding affinity so that will not release back to the environment. However, this still have some environmental issues to be tackled. This kind of solution is oftentimes much more damaging and expensive than investing in infrastructure to ensure that oil doesn't spill in the first place. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Most of the oil that ends up in the environment actually doesn't come from the big spills. It comes from small leaks or people flushing oil down the drains or industrial settings like fish farms. Filtration systems could be better designed using these kinds of sponges to limit the amount of oil that ends up in the environment and causes the majority of damage. What would you know? That's actually something that these scientists are working on and they set up a demonstration for us. Here we have a local cavefish farm. So the feedings in fact contain a lot of oil and those oil substances, they actually fall on top of the farm. So after the oil will be pumped into another tank which contains the smart sponge. After a few minutes, the large oil droplet has been disappeared after passing through our smart sponge filtering system. Uh, this smart sponge helps to effectively remove oils uh, after they feed the, the cavefish. This actually enhances the survival weight of the cavefish. It also lowers the cost for them to remove the oil waste. Our hope is to replace the uh, plastic-based sponge. After its lifetime, it will be uh, dumped to the environment, replacing most of these plastic-based sponges our ultimate aims in this project. Now, the usual disclaimers apply. This is a small-scale product that has yet to be deployed on a mass scale. So take their results with a grain of salt and maybe some olive oil. But this definitely sounds like a promising way to recycle both agricultural wastes and reduce the impact of oil spills. If you're interested in more coverage of climate tech, we definitely are as well, let us know what other tech you'd like us to cover and leave a like on this video. Till then, to the real Tech Asia sponges, if you're interested in learning more about tech, you can subscribe to our channel and check out our past videos, and make sure that you put on those notifications so that you can check out 
videos that come out once a week. Now, I'm afraid I'm thoroughly wrung out by this week's Tech Asia shooting, so I'm off to take a bath. Take care. Oh, no, 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 I forgot my old stuff. Ah!